Hey guys, so we're going to finish up Oedipus this week and next week I'm going to give you a test over just Oedipus, just the study guide questions and it'll probably ask you to write a few paragraphs at the end on a prompt. Um, so a lot of stuff happened last week. We were supposed to read up to line 1220 and lots of stuff happened. For one thing, Oedipus is starting to suspect that he killed King Laius. It's not even something he's suspecting. It's something he thinks he 100% did. But Jocasta keeps trying to tell him, no, it could not possibly have been you. Whenever we, uh, whenever it was prophesied that our son would kill King Laius, his father, we had his legs bound and thrown on the side of a mountain. And Oedipus, if you remember, walks with a telltale limp. And Oedipus thinks, well, he came across this, this band of men with the king and he murdered them on the highway because the king, they gave him a little bump and tried to bump him off the road. So Oedipus killed all of them. Um, but now, and we also learn why Oedipus left his home, his original home. It was prophesied that he would kill his father. This drunk guy at a party was like, you're going to kill your dad, blah, blah, blah. Well, Oedipus was like, I better get out of here. I don't really want to kill my father. So he leaves. And now they are getting a, a messenger has shown up to tell Oedipus that his father died. And Jocasta's like, well, it can't possibly be you then because your father's dead. So you didn't kill your father. And that's where we are right now. We're on line 1220. When you gave me to him, you had brought me or found me by accident. Oh, this is when uh, Oedipus is founding out. He was actually not really the son of Polybus. He was found and given to Polybus and Polybus raised him as his own. When you gave me to him, you had brought me or found me by accident. I found you in Scytheron's forest valleys. What were you doing wandering up there? I was looking after flocks of sheep. You were a shepherd, just hired servant roaming here and there. Yes, my son, I was. But at the time, I was the one who saved you. When you picked me up and took me off, what sort of suffering was I going through? The ankles on your feet uh, could tell you that. Oh, my old misfortune, why mention that? Your ankles had been pierced and tied together. I set them free. My dreadful mark of shame. I have had that scar there since I was a child. Oh, and what did King Laius and Jocasta do to their son that was supposed to kill Laius? They bound his legs together. That's why my fortune gave, or my fortune gave you your very name. I'm the one you, uh, the one which you still carry. Tell me, in the name of heaven, why did my parents, my father and my mother do this to me? I don't know. The man who gave you to me knows more than I do. You mean to say you got me from someone else? It wasn't you that stumbled upon me? No, it wasn't me. Another shepherd gave you to me. Who? Who was he? Do you know? Can you tell me any details? Ones you know for certain. Well, I think he was one of Laius' servants. That's what people said. You mean King Laius, the one who ruled this country years ago? That's right. He was the one of the king, or it was one, he was one of the king's shepherds. Oh, so the dude that was supposed to leave Oedipus out there when he was a baby to die, couldn't do it and gave him to this guy, this messenger that Oedipus is talking to now. That's right. He was the one of the, he was one of the king's shepherds. Is he still alive? Can I still see him? You people live here. You're best, or you'd best answer that. Turning to the chorus. Do any of you know, I don't know why I said turn to the chorus. You can see it. Do any of you know the man, the shepherd he describes? Have you seen him? Either in the fields or here or there in Thebes. Answer me, it's critical. Time at last to find out what it means. The man he mentions is, I think, the very peasant from the fields you want to see you wanted to see earlier. But of this Jocasta could tell you more than anyone. Lady, do you know the man we sent for just minutes ago, the one summoned here? Is he the one of or is he the one this messenger refers to? Why ask me what he means? Forget all that. There's no point in trying to sort out what he said. Jocasta keeps trying to convince Oedipus not to get into any of this. Just ignore it, Oedipus. She might know something more than Oedipus. 
With all these indications of the truth here in my grasp, I cannot end this now. I must reveal the details of my birth. And this is also Oedipus' hubris kicking in. He has to know. Could he just stop, ignore it, and let it go away? Probably. But he can't. He has to know. It's his pride that's pushing him forward. Jocasta, in the name of the gods, no. If you have, or in the name of the gods, no. If you have some concern for your own life, then stop. Do not keep investigating this. I will suffer. That will be enough. Be brave. Even if I should turn out to be born for a shameful mother whose family for three generations have been slaves, you will still have your noble lineage. Listen to me. I beg you, do not do this. I will not be convinced I should not learn the whole truth of what these facts amount to. But I care about your own well-being. What I tell you is for your benefit. What you're telling me for my own good just brings me more distress. Oh, you unhappy man. You may never find out who you really are. Go, one of you, and bring the shepherd here. Leave the lady to enjoy her noble family. Alas, you poor miserable man. There's nothing more I could say to you. And now I'll never speak again. Jocasta runs into the palace. Why is the keen rushed off, Oedipus, so full of grief? I fear a disastrous storm will break through her silence. Then let it break, whatever it is. As for myself, no matter how base born my family, I wish to know the seed from where I came. Perhaps my queen is now ashamed of me and my insignificant origin. She likes to play the noble lady, but I will never feel myself dishonored. I see myself as a child of fortune. And she is generous, the mother of mine whom I spring, and the months my siblings have seen by turns, both small and great. That's how I was born. I cannot change to someone else, nor can I ever cease seeking out the facts of my own birth. If I have any power of prophecy or skill in knowing things, then by the Olympian de deities, you, Scytheron, uh, at tomorrow's moon will surely know that Oedipus pays tribute to you and his native land, both and his mother as his, and his nurse. And the choral dance and song acknowledge you because you are so pleasing to our king. O oh, Phoebus, we cry out to you. May our song fill with delight. Who gave birth to you, my child? Which one of the immortal gods bore you <clears throat> to Father Pan? Who roams mountainsides? Was it the daughter of Apollo, the god who loves all country fields? Perhaps Selene's royal king, or perhaps the Bacchalian, god dwelling on the mountaintops, who took you as a newborn joy from the maiden nymphs of Helicon, with whom he often romps and plays. Looking away from the palace, you elders, although I have never seen the man who we've been looking for for a long time now, if I had to guess, I think I see him. He's coming to here. He looks very old, as is appropriate, if he's the one. I know the people coming with him, servants of mine. But if you've seen him before, you'll recognize him better than I will. Yes, I recognize the man. There's no doubt. He worked for Laius, a trusty shepherd. Stranger from Corinth, let me, ask, let me first ask you. Is this the man you mentioned? Yes, he is. He's the one. He's the man you see in front of you. You old man over here. Look at me. Now answer what I ask. Some time ago, did you work for Laius? Yes, as a slave. But I was not brought, I was not bought. I grew up in the house. How do you live? What was the work you did? Most of my life I spent looking after sheep. Where? In what particular areas? On Scytheron or neighboring lands. Do you know if you came across this man anywhere up there? <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Doing what? What do you mean? The man over there, this one. Have you ever run into him? Right now, I can't say I remember him. My lord, that's surely not surprising. Let me refresh his failing memory. I think he will remember all too well the time we spent around Scytheron. He had two flocks of sheep and I had one. I was with him there for six months at a stretch, from early spring until the autumn season. In the winter, I'd drive my sheep down to my folds, and he would take his to pens and lie that Lias owned. Isn't that what happened? Just what I've said. You spoke the truth, but it was long ago. All right, then, now tell me if you recall how you gave a child, an infant boy, for me to raise as my own foster son. What? Why ask about that? This man here, my friend, he was the child back then. Damn you, can't you keep quiet about it? 
Hold on, old man. Don't criticize him. What you have said is more objectionable, objectionable than his account. My noble master, what have I done wrong? You did not tell us of that infant boy, the one he asked about. That's what he says, but he knows nothing. A useless busybody. If you won't tell us of your own free will, once we start to hurt you, you will talk. By all the gods, don't torture an old man. What have you there? Tie up this fellow's hands. What, why are you doing this? It's too much for me. What is it you want to know? The child he mentioned. Do you give it to him? I did. How oh, I wish I died that day. Well, you're going to die if you don't speak the truth. And if I do, there's an even greater chance that I'll be killed. It seems to me that the man is trying to stall. No, no, I'm not. I've already told you I did give him the child. Where did you get it? Did it come from your home or somewhere else? It was not mine. I got it from someone. Which of our citizens? Whose home was it? In the name of the gods, my lord, do not ask. Please, no more questions. If I have to ask again, then you will die. The child was born of Lias's house. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry again, guys. <laughs> from a slave or for some other relative of his? Alas, what I'm about to say now, it's horrible. And I'm about to hear it. But nonetheless, I have to know this. You must know they say the child was his. But your wife inside the palace is the one who could best tell you what was going on. You mean she gave the child to you? Yes, my lord. Why did she do that? So I would kill it. That wretched woman was the mother? Yes. She was afraid of dreadful prophecies. What sort of prophecies? The story went that he would kill his father. If that was true, why did you give the child to this old man? I pitied the boy, master, and I thought he'd take the child off to a foreign land where he was from. But he rescued him, only to save him for a greater, greatest grief of all. For, if you're the one the man who says you are, you know your birth carried an awful fate. Ah, oh, so it all came true. It is so clear now. O oh, light, let me look at you one final time. A man who stands revealed and cursed by birth. Cursed by my own family and cursed by murder where I should not kill. Oedipus moves into the palace. Okay. So we just figured something out. That's a good place to, to pause for a second and I'll make a, an, another video. Oh, how can I say it? Well, Jocasta is not only Oedipus's wife. Jocasta is his mother. And also, the kids that they had together are not only Oedipus's kids, they are his brothers and sisters. Super messed up, I know. But, we're going to finish this here in a little bit. I'm going to pause this because if I do it in sections, it uploads easier. So I'm going to stop, and then I'll record part two. See you guys in a second.